Vya Gora. I love references. Remember when Wario was on SNL? Or that time Rick and Morty showed up in Space Jam 2? That was so awesome. I will remember that scene until the day I die. References like these cater to this strange appeal in our minds to see two things we are familiar with get combined to create a fun and unique experience. And when it comes to indie games, crossovers, cameos, and references happen all the time. Like when Shovel Knight made it into Smash Ultimate, or when Shovel Knight made it into Ukulele, or when Shovel Knight made it into Fall Guys, or when Shovel Knight made it into Shovel Knight. While the Knight from Hall Knight isn't as prevalent as Shovel Knight from Shovel Knight in terms of crossovers or cameos, there are still a few references to be found here and there. The one I have seen the most is probably the Knight portrait found in Dead Cells. This image of the Knight's head can be found among a bunch of other bug specimens in a room found in the third level of the game. But this isn't the only Hollow Knight reference found in Dead Cells. Content from Hollow Knight and five other indie games has been added to Dead Cells in their most recent Everyone Is Here update. And by recent, I mean it launched the same day this video was uploaded. The developers behind Dead Cells, Motion Twin, were kind enough to give me early access to this new content. So consider this a bit of a hot scoop. I had actually never played Dead Cells before this either, so it was a nice excuse to finally try it out. And I can see why so many people like it so much. It's sort of a roguelike metroidvania hybrid, but the combat gets pretty addicting after a while. As for the new Hollow Knight content, in the first area of the game you can find various elements from different games such as Guacamelee, Blasphemous, and Hyper Light Drifter. For Hollow Knight they added a bench an object first popularized by its inclusion in Hollow Knight. Interacting with the bench will give you the Pure Nail item. The Pure Nail isn't like other weapons in Dead Cells, as it allows you to swing both upwards and downwards, and you can even pogo off of stuff by downward striking. You can also unlock a costume called Vessel. Unfortunately, it's not as detailed as some of the other skins from this update. I'm not sure if this was a limitation from Team Cherry, or if they decided the knight's proportions just don't work well on a full-sized human body. Regardless, it's still a pretty cool skin, and this is easily one of the most involved Hollow Knight cameos in this video. Another well-known Hollow Knight reference is from Bug Fables. Bug Fables is a spiritual successor to the Paper Mario franchise, harkening back to the more RPG-heavy gameplay from the N64 and GameCube eras. At one point, you are able to open a bank account at the Bank of Bugaria, but one of the characters, V, is hesitant, claiming that the banker might steal their money and go to a hot spring. This is a pretty cheeky reference to Millibel, a bug who steals all your geo and then goes to a hot spring in the City of Tears. Or it might be a clever reference to the sham that is central banking and modern monetary theory. Hollow Knight also makes a cameo in Guacamelee 2. The Guacamelee games are absolutely stacked with references to pop culture. Metroid, Castlevania, Super Mario, Space Invaders, it even references Wreck-It Ralph, itself a reference to Donkey Kong. And then there's the Knight. It shows up in a billboard facing off against Shovel Knight. I'd like to think Shovel Knight and the Knight would get along if they met in the real world, but perhaps that's just wishful thinking. The Binding of Isaac is another indie game with lots of little references to other media. Zelda, Castlevania, in fact the title of the game, Binding of Isaac, is actually a reference to a somewhat obscure piece of literature known as the Bible. More importantly, there is actually a Hollow Knight reference hidden in this game. Binding of Isaac Rebirth features a drop-in co-op system, where additional players can join in mid-game as little babies. In the Repentance release of the game, not to be confused with the Binding of Isaac Rebirth or Binding of Isaac Afterbirth or Kingdom Hearts 1.5 plus 2.5 Remix, they added a baby that resembles the broken vessel boss from Hollow Knight. While I'm talking about The Binding of Isaac, I should mention The Binding of Isaac 4 Souls card game. It was released in late 2018, and in 2021 its first expansion, Requiem, was kickstarted for $6.7 million. Requiem features four Hollow Knight inspired cards, The Knight, Focus, Grubfather, and The Radiance. Not only that, but Requiem also features other famous characters, such as the boyfriend and girlfriend from Friday Night Funkin', and another character known as Crewmate from a somewhat obscure piece of media known as Among Us. Speaking of which, the crewmate also appears as a skin in Fall Guys. Another fictional character who appears in Fall Guys is Ninja, who also appears in Fortnite, which means we can now connect Hollow Knight to Fortnite. 
Of course, if they put the knight in Fall Guys, we could make this chain much shorter. In fact, the Fall Guys Twitter page publicly reached out to Team Cherry to do a collaboration. But alas, as of yet, we still haven't seen a skin of the knight in Fall Guys. This really bums me out, because out of all the games for the knight to make a cameo, Fall Guys probably makes the most sense. Another game to get a knight cameo is Forager. Forager is an open world adventure game about purchasing and exploring islands for challenges and rewards. In the game, the player can find a skull chest, which gives them a custom skin of the knight. There's also a Hall Knight reference in another Metroidvania style game known as Grime. In one section of the game, you can find graffiti of both the knight and Zote. Another Metroidvania, Fist, features a steampunk version of the knight as a coating for a drill weapon. This art is pretty dope, and it's clearly drawn from the Voidheart artwork done for the console release of the game. There's a cheeky reference to the knight in the DLC for the crazy wall jumping Metroidvania game, Dandara. There's a Hall Knight figurine sitting on a desk in one area. There's a sticker of the knight in a platformer game called The Adventure Pals. In the deck building game One Step from Eden, there's a card called Ice Needle. The flavor text for this item seems to be a reference to a certain phrase that appears in Hollow Knight. Shut and there are probably even more subtle nods to Hollow Knight in other games that I didn't find in my research. So let me know if I missed anything, and check the description for a link to the games I did mention, if any of them seem interesting to you. But it isn't just games that reference Hollow Knight. There have actually been a few TV shows to reference it as well. Amphibia is an animated Disney show about a young girl stumbling into a strange fantasy world, where she must learn how to live among bizarre new creatures, and maybe even make a few friends along the way. The show draws a lot of inspiration from video games like The Legend of Zelda and Chrono Trigger, and it's chock full of random video game references. There's even an Earthbound reference at one point. In one episode, the characters spend time getting combat training from some guy pretending to run a daycare, who tricks them into robbing a train. In one shot, we can see a weapon rack with a few different swords on it. At the top, we can see what appears to be the sharpened nail from Hollow Knight, right above the Master Sword from Zelda. But Amphibia isn't the only show to reference Hollow Knight like this. The Owl House is an animated Disney show about a young girl stumbling into a strange fantasy world, where she must learn to live among bizarre new creatures, and maybe even make a few friends along the way. The Hollow Knight reference in Owl House is actually pretty blatant, as it appears in the opening credits of the first season. There's one shot in the opening where this dog thing, named King, is standing in a pile of plushies. There are a ton of references in this one image. There's the fourth angel from Neon Genesis Evangelion. There's the Omu from Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. There's that annoying ass cat from Sailor Moon. There's that annoying ass penguin from Digimon. There's a giraffe, which is a reference to a somewhat obscure continent known as Asia. There are even references to Bosch's famous painting from 1510, The Garden of Earthly Delights. And of course, the knight also makes an appearance here. For this next one, I'm not really sure we can call it an easter egg. There's an Australian television show called The Block. This reality television show is about couples competing to buy, renovate, and flip houses. It's apparently been running for 17 years and has over 800 episodes, which is impressive because I didn't even realize there were that many houses in Australia. During an episode that aired in September of 2020, they actually used the main theme from Hollow Knight. This wasn't a reference. They weren't talking about Hollow Knight. They were just using the song. Now, I don't really have any hard evidence for what happened here, but from my understanding and from what I've heard, this wasn't any sort of copyright infringement or anything. It has to do with music rights in Australia. Due to the small size of the country's entertainment sector, rights holders will allow one another to use their music within reason. And we can keep going down this rabbit hole if we want. Like the Knight cameo that appears in the Brazilian comic series Terma de Monica, alongside Shovel Knight, a green elephant version of Gandalf, Obi-Wan Kenobi and Mace Windu, and the Black Knight from Scooby-Doo. Apparently the Knight even appears on a craft beer in Russia. Well, I guess that's one more reason to go to Russia. It's no surprise the Knight is popping up in all these random places. The character is easily recognizable, and the game itself is really good. I wouldn't be surprised if the knight started showing up on TV more often, or on the moon, or in our blood cells. But this does raise an interesting question. Are there any references or homages in Hollow Knight? 
That sounds like a pretty interesting topic, if I'm being honest. I wonder if anyone has made a video about that yet. I wonder if there's a link on screen right now that you could click on to watch a video like that.